Uh, Lloyd Doyle doesn't appear yet. That's later on. I think later on we're going to have, uh, I'm going to try that um, Green Hell, you know, the early access. I'm going to fire that up and see what that's like. I have no idea what's in the game yet, but we'll have a look at it. Wow, it's taken a while. Were you in the LMP, Van Dango? New career as a male model. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For what, for like the, uh, the over 60s model catalog. <laughs> you as a magic act. Ah. The guy who disappeared. Wait, where are you, where are you racing from then? If you were doing the, uh, the netcode disappearance trick. The leader has just done a draw one point seven two. Oh yeah, the card draw limit. Somebody said there's an option in here for this. Um, in the graphics. Maximum cars. Setting controls how many cars you're requesting the server to send to your client. The server may not honor your request and may send fewer depending on available bandwidth. Your under value may significantly improve frame rates and reduce replay file sizes. You will only see and record to your replay the end cars closest to you, which the server transmits. The track temps increasing. It's now 32 Celsius. Let's try 30. See if it affects the frame rate. Have we done any more flying in? I'm flying again next week if this weather ever shifts. I'm getting ready for my check ride at the moment. Right, I'm going to fill up my g glass. I shall BRB. Made a cup of tea while I was there. It is just consistently raining outside. Are you going to do any night flying tests to fly at night? My... My plan was to try and get my PPL done in September, but weather has effectively prevented that from happening. Because I couldn't do my cross country for like three weeks. Which is now pushing back when I can do my PPL. So my plan was to get my PPL and then do my night rating as we approach December. But then I read an article um, yesterday that said because we had a heat wave, Meteorologists are suggesting that we might have four months of intense winter this year. Now, if that happens, that's going to mess up my night rating as well. Because there's only a window of time when you can really do it. The problem with night rating is you need to magically align. A, you book in advance, and then on that day, you need to have the weather on your side because you're, you're going to be flying at night. So you need a window between about 4 and 6 p.m. that has to have good weather. <laughs> and the odds are pretty small. Uh, Lord Lockie, where, where have you shared it, mate? Where is it? I don't believe you need the moon on your side, but I, I, I guess it makes it easier if you do racing itself. How the heck do I get that? Lord Lucky. Whoa! How did he get back on track?
Garage and then shared setups. Um, garage, shared setups. Timothy Kettler's team. Is that it? So if I drop the fuel down to like, I don't know, 15 litres and then see what kind of time I can do with it. Let's try that. Keep an eye on the time because I do need to register for the race. Do a couple of laps and see what it's like. Tracks clear. Push, push, push. <laughs> I like your style, Neil Lynch. I think everybody knows what I'm going to ask. <laughs> Wait a second, where's my um, livery gone? Why did I not draw my livery? That's weird. There's a faster car approaching. Yay, yay for faster cars. Car right. Clear right. Control R to refresh. Try that. It's drawn it white. Maybe trading paints has crashed. Yeah, I think trading paints isn't drawn it. Have to give it a boot. Hey, Basil. Sector 1 is 3.6 seconds off the pace. On your right, clear right. Hey, Ranky. Slipping. 
Master car behind. It it does feel like it's understeering to me, Zoraki. I don't know. B25. Car right. Still there. Clear right. Thanks. Sector 1 is 3.7 seconds off the pace. Too much grass. Okay, Paul, you've got half your fuel left. There's a weird aspect in the gearing as well. Between 4 and 5, it seems to be short shift. Sector 2 is 4.4 seconds off the pace. That's five minutes of fuel left. Finally bought ETS two hundred salaries today. Nice. The leader has just done a two zero zero point seven seconds. Twenty third place. That lap was a two oh four point one four. You're now three point five seconds off the leader's pace. Sector 1 is 0 0.36, off the pace. A little bit of overshoot. is 1.2 seconds off the pace. Uh, yeah, crew chief. P20, that's your fastest lap today. That last lap was a 202.95. Okay, Paul, very little fuel left. Come into the pits at the end of this lap. I, I, this lap. I kind of feel like that the gearing's a bit weird. 2. Like, off the pace. Sector it, three is it only just makes it into sixth gear. That makes sense. Trading paints. I need to kill trading paints or something not right.
We get six quick on. There's more fuel to spend. Yeah, but the thing is, I was on I was on 15 liters then, and it wasn't getting in, like it was getting into sixth. Like you go down the down the home straight, and it gets to fifth after you've gone over the line, like quite a bit down the line. So you only get to sixth, then you're changing down again. Feels like there's something not right. to come out of that, go into the actual race session. Was burnt out quickly. Luckily, I had insurance. What's that, Ranky? A car? Look at this. The beauty of a fridge with water and ice on tap. Oh, yeah. What's my messages? Oh, someone stole your car. Oh, God. I don't think I'm going to drive the Porsche this week, Lord Lucky. Happy anniversary, Nutter. Uh, Mr. Aramon, we did. Dilix, welcome back. Barberstick with 44 months. Thank you, Barberstick. Blimey, it's taking a while to load. Yes, Basler Brush. It has a built-in filter that lasts about six months, I think. On the fridge control, it has like four lines, and they basically go down over time. And then when it starts flashing, you've got 10 days to replace the filter. So inside the right door at the top is like the filter. You just turn it, pop it out, put the new one in. But I think you can get Bosch ones or you can get third party ones. Welcome back, Nutter. Next supernova. Well, if you wait more than 10 days, Tommy, it's a bit like. It's a bit like uh, going past the sell-by date on food. Like you know, if you if you eat something the day after the best before date, you're not going to die. You're not going to die the day after either. But it'll just start to get worse. There's a car behind. Take care. Rejoin him. Rip.
Or the water filter, it would just stop being effective over time. Right side, clear right. Strictly come down to fun. I've never enjoyed that show. I don't think I've ever watched a single full episode. B20. Completely misjudged my braking. This is topping out in six gear on this setup. Oh yeah, Spa Francochamps, just brilliant track. Okay, Paul, there's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. B19. Zero point four three off the face. You've used half fuel. Though. Okay, Paul. Five minutes of fuel remaining. No, five minutes. wants to finish my lap. Seven off the pace. 
I can change it back if you want supernova if it bothers you. Radio check. Can you hear me? There we go. Can you hear me? Okay, Paul, I can hear you. There you go, Supernova. We can listen to Jim again. <laughs> Not right, Supernova. Eating out of date food for over a year, Baz. Happy anniversary. Well, Claire was the spotter, but now it's Jim again. I think it depends what the best before date is. Like if it's a bag of nuts and you're a year out of date, it's probably just going to taste a bit rubbish. If you do that with tomatoes, I think you'll find that's a different story. Checkered flag, P19. I've not set crew chief to work with my voice input, never seen anyone use it. Well, you can either do it on a push to talk or you can have it voice activated where you say a word like Alexa or Chief or whatever. What is the SOF? 1597. Didn't even make it out of the pit. Does Jim play songs on request? My friend Jim plays songs on request. He's a pretty amazing pianist. The track's clear. Push, push, push. We have two laps to get the job done, mate. I've sat in the bar with him, and he's sat on the piano, and he just ends up with a crowd of people around him, just drinking beer and requesting songs, and people singing. It's just hilarious to watch. I got my paint back.
Double shot. Crazy evil to you, Buzz. B5, this is the last lap of fuel. That lap was a 202.69. Bondo, how are you doing? Oh boy. Well, there goes that lap. Is remaining. Funnily enough, the first one was better than the second one. <laughs> uh, 67 and a half litres full TSX. I'll get you over 20 laps out of that. The Porsche burns fuel more than the Ferrari. Yeah, Pro Drive, it's about being consistent though, you know. Twenty-four laps left. Twenty-four seconds left. Oh. <laughs> That's the end what of the happened session. to Paul's hair? Place. I love it. Wait, did he say fifteen? Blimey.
I'm glad you're not racing this one, yeah. It's pretty low SOF. Could be carnage. I feel like there's more of a personal connection when there's no hat vanilla donut. Interest in observation? Pit stop, clear tires. Okay. Well, I was a fault left driving, Mr. Speed. What you did? Hey, Mr. Kinducci, how you doing? You're not racing? Um, I don't know, Captain JC. This is not a 24-hour race. This is a one-hour race, approximately. First corner pile up. Listen, nothing can beat the crash in the last race. I don't know if you saw that, Kinducci, but oh my god, bro, I've never seen anything. We didn't even make T1. We came barreling down the straights, and then cars were flying, spinning, crashing, like literally well over half the field just demolished on the, uh, right on the pit start. On the grid, sorry. That was just unbelievable. The track temp is 30 Celsius. That's pole. There's a pink Porsche behind me, like completely pink. Not a bright pink. I saved the replay, it was amazing. <laughs> I don't know, RSR is probably a German abbreviation for something. Porsche Power Ranger, <laughs> maybe. There's actually quite a few Ferraris on the track on this race. I'm used to it just being Porsche, 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 Ferrari. Yeah, I was driving the Porsche in practice, but the setups I had um, back end was a bit light for me. So I decided to uh, go back to the Ferrari. Ren Sport Ren Wagon, motorsport racing car. There you go. I knew it would be German. Ren wagon. <laughs> I think RSR looks better. <laughs> I nearly had a pink Porsche behind me then. I think we're being brake checked. Hey. Huh? I know, I got myself a drink and I'm racing for an hour now. SSW Squirrel Speedwagon. Lol. <laughs> That'd be quite good, actually, put it on the back, SSW.
Well, I almost finished the last race, Kinduchi, but I got punted twice by LMPs. And I mean punted. And then I finally got booted when I, I moved over for a car. And he went straight to the back of me. A bit concerned. Pink, uh, pink Porsche has disappeared. Green, let's go, let's go. This is where you floor it and hope for the best. Oh, God. Left it's side. happened Yellow again. Caution. Right side's clear. It's happened clear again. Car left. Still there. Still there. Clear left. Can you add a maneuver? Shocking start. Come on, get it together. <laughs> Shocking start? As if? How many incidents do I have? You have eight incidents. Why have I picked up eight incident points? That is disgusting. I've not even done lap one and we've got an 8x. And I've literally done nothing wrong. Now 2.2. That's, uh, I don't know what to say, that's just ridiculous, man. Don't be intimidated, keep him behind you. Can people not just hold it together for one lap? I don't get it. I didn't even know I'd been hit the second time. Thanks for destroying my race and be put at the top. No, 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 that was somebody else, Doctor. I think he was complaining about the start, the Dr. Dre. I think he was complaining this. about the guy who trashed the whole pack at the start. Six.